I would like to look at some VLAN concepts or concepts dealing with virtual local area networks. Before we talk about the VLAN though, let's talk about some connectivity devices for local area networks. The most basic or at least the most basic common one is a hub. With a hub, if there's a computer that has some data that it wants to share with another computer, it could send that data to the hub. The hub propagates it across the entire network to all of the ports. That data is sent to every computer, every device on the network, and it's assumed that any device that doesn't need the network sort of ignores it. Well, that creates a great deal of traffic, isn't necessarily an ideal solution. Switches are the next step up. With a switch, with that same scenario, I want to send data from one computer to another. I send it to the switch, but instead of sending it to all ports, it only sends it to the one port it needs to go to. From there, it goes to the computer where it's needed, direct connection, much less traffic on the network. From there, we move to a virtual local area network, a VLAN. With this right here, it's as if you had multiple devices all built into one. In the same scenario where I have the data which I want to send to another computer, as long as they're on the same virtual network, it's the same thing. Sends it from one port to another and then right down to that computer. But if they are on different virtual networks, different subnets within there, you cannot go directly from one to the next. You have to leave that device, come back in that device as if it were a completely different device, and then you can get to the computer you want to get to. If you're trying to get to the green computer, a little bit more has to be done. Right now there's no network cable coming in from the router. Another network cable must be coming in. And then you can do the same thing. That data can go up through the router, back down, and right to the computer you want it to go to. The way it is shown here, you might think that each of those subnets is a hardwired thing. That's not the case. You can go ahead, pick a port, and move it to another network. That makes a powerful ability to be able to have control over where your traffic is going and helps with security. You can even, if you have multiple VLAN devices, set up networks so that if I'm trying to get data from one side of the network to the other side going from one device to another device, as far as the computer is concerned, even though I'm going up and out of the device, it looks like it's all on one local area network, on one little subnet, and that again makes routing much easier, real easy to go ahead and get data from one point to another, even if people are in different buildings. It allows for better network discovery of printers, allows for improved security, and nodes could be a lot logically rearranged and moved without physically moving them or moving cables. So if two people in the organization switch desks, you can go ahead and switch which virtual network they are on without having to go into some server closet and play with the patch panel. Makes things much more convenient.